Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. It's April 2nd. Uh, here in New York, it's kind of a nice day out, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's do a, a regular premium question that I haven't done yet. Let's let's do it. Today's extra problem is 2168, unique substrings with equal digit frequency. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you want to see more of me doing extra problems. All right, what are we trying to do? Given a string, digit string S, we turn the number of unique substring of S where every digit appears the same number of time. S sub length is a thousand. Um, huh. Okay, I mean... I mean, I think this is just brute force. I don't know what the uh, what the deal is, right? I mean, um, yeah. Um, I think we could even just implement it directly. Um, I think the only, the only thing you have to be careful about is just that you're doing it in a in a rowing kind of way. And as long as you do that, I think it should be fine. Um, yeah. I think there is some like nuance in that if you keep on constructing the string every time or something like that, then it becomes like NQ by accident. But otherwise, it should be okay. So let, let's let's get cranking. So now for left is in range of n, right? And then now uh, for right in range from left to n, basically. Uh, so yeah, and here I'm just going to use a big int because it's the same as it's the same as putting a string anyway, at least in Python. So your language may may differ a little bit. Um, just good as your set, right? <clears throat> because basically, if you have like a like a, a string of a thousand a thousand characters, it's going to take up more space than a big int of a thousand binary bits, right? So. Um, so it should be okay. I'm just thinking a little bit just to make sure that um, <clears throat> Yeah, I don't uh, uh, um, I wonder if it could be n cube space. I think that's the only thing that I worry a little bit about But but if it wants into um, Or is there a smaller way? No, it feels like it should be okay, but we'll see Um S of right, right. So this is the number, and then good add current. Of course, this isn't correct at all, but um, but because we don't keep track of the every digit appears the same amount of times, so hmm, how do we check that? But this is the the structure. Uh, initially, I thought I was going to just put in like a collection uh, or a counter uh, or like a hash table, right? Can I do it with a hash table? Um, huh. How would you do a hash table if you just keep adding? Then you have to check everything. Oh, I guess checking everything's fine because it's only ten digits, right? But then I don't know. Now it's we're getting like more and more expensive. Um, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> um, right. So then now. Right, so then now if um, oh, uh, let's see, yeah, um, 
something like that. So, like I said, this is getting a little bit ugly, but uh, I believe I did put it a comma. I don't know how that got all the way over there. Uh, I mean, this is okay. It may be too slow. So we'll give it some minute. Hmm. Might have to optimize then. Ah, oh, I just got the wrong answer. Did I have an off by one? Hmm. Oh, because of the zero uh, prefix. Uh, hmm. That is interesting. Hmm. Did not actually anticipate that. Huh. Huh. <laughs> because basically, uh, I guess that's the only thing that's uh, not kosher with just doing this is that we have a zero. Um, if we have a. Oh, we got many zero prefix, right? Hmm. Wow, how, what do I do now? <laughs> do not consider that edge case. I also feel like maybe I'm just doing something dumb. I think the other way of doing it is No, I don't know. Wow. Hmm. This is a big yikes. How would I, huh, how do I do the prefix without, uh, okay, that, that's for now. <laughs> this will certainly not help, but, uh, oh, it's still wrong, well, huh? Is that not the, oh, no, 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 because of, that doesn't help because it's still, the math is still on, um, on here, and this gets zero, right? Oh, I guess I could just do this. But that's still like very awkward though. Hmm. Let's give it a spin, see how that goes. If it times out, I'm still gonna be sad, but at least we gave it an honest try. Uh, I guess that's good. Uh, we're pretty slow though. That's probably not the way to do it. Can I optimize this? Uh, I mean, this is going to be n squared times alpha, where alpha is the size of the alphabet, which is, in this case, all the digits, which is 10, um, which is like 10 million or something, right? Which is fine, as you can see, but still not happy, as you can see. Um, hmm. I mean, I'm thinking like, I don't know that you could do sliding window. And the thing is that things can catch up, right? So there's no early termination because you can have something like, like one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, the first, this would not be, but then this will be, right? And uh, without like special casing, a lot of stuff, like counting number of unique digits, and then like you know, I don't know. Feels a little bit awkward. Um, like maybe you could optimize a little bit by moving a little bit fat forward, if like you know, there's some some math with um, you know, divisible and the the length or something like that. But that's 
doesn't even save you that much time, I don't think. So we end square. I, I, I am curious what, what the better solution is. Going hash? I guess I'm dumb. I mean, I'm basically doing rowing hash without the rowing. Hmm. I mean, this is basically what I'm doing, except for I'm not doing the hash part, I guess. Okay, so I guess we're okay. I, 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 I mean, that's not the part that I was struggling with. That's why I'm like a little bit brushing this off, not to kind of, you know, minimize it. I thought there may be like some other algo that's a little bit better. I mean, this is basically what we're doing, except for here, you want to mod it by a prime or something, and then that's the same idea. Um, but, but like this part, you still cannot get away from. Um, I mean, it is a little bit faster just because... Uh, yeah, it is a little bit faster because this does get a little bit long to hash into the gut, but I don't really feel that strongly about it um, for today anyway. Oh well, uh, is this symbol maps? What's the symbol maps? Okay, that's just... Ah, that's a cool way of saying it though, but still. This is n cube, but uh, just way fast n cube, I guess. Um, what's the huh, I learned something new every day, I guess. I don't know. This is this always feels awkward. I mean, I, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, I, that wasn't like any different. Than, I mean, I was thinking about that, stuff like that, but I was like, eh. I don't know. This is a pretty hard medium, I think. Um, like this, I would not. Well, I mean, I, I also got it wrong, so maybe that's also why uh, for like a little bit. Well, that that was a silly mistake, maybe. Mm, not well, not a silly mistake, but just like a careless mistake. Um, but I would not, I don't know how confident I would be submitting this during the contest, right? Because, uh, this one took six seconds. So, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> and I was pretty, uh, you know, just YOLO. Eh, I don't know. Maybe I need to sleep. So, yeah. Uh, okay. That's all I have for today. That's all I have for this prom. This all, that's all I have for this video. Uh, maybe it's not too useful one. Uh, this is kind of a weird prom. My apologies. Uh, but yeah, I hope y'all have a great rest of the week. Um, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.